on zero effects b thank you to john mcclaw for posting that chirp now have the uv k5 and i am now going to test that so just go to chirp and click download and run the program got a couple of different links here that i will put in once you've downloaded and run the program you will end up with this program here so let's just start from scratch so we'll just go radio download from radio you need to connect the Bofun cable UV5R I'm using to your computer and then go right click device manager, double click ports and my port is USB serial CH340COM11. You need to have something like that otherwise it's not going to work. Uh, so just check you've got the correct drivers. Hopefully if you're running Windows 10 11 you shouldn't need to add any drivers. Then you select that at the top port then Qing, go down to Qing Sheng. So it's quite, if we go right to the top, it's about just past halfway down, Qing Sheng. Okay, if you've got a Wurui, it's Qing Sheng. And then select the model, so UVK5. If you do get a warning, uh, before attempting to do any changes, please download the memory image from the radio with Chirp and keep it. This can be used later to recover the original settings. So there's a warning there. I'm going to leave that warning on. And then we're going to click OK. Gives you the warning again. Just make sure your two pin cable is plugged in firmly into the right hand side of the radio. Click OK and it reads and it reads really fast. But interestingly, you don't see anything on the on the actual radio flashing when it's downloading. But anyway, here's my memory channels. So let's just go into one. Let's do a new one. Uh, so we'll double click here and we'll do 145.750 and we're going to call it GB3BC and we'll do it in small because I've got a big caps one up there look tone squelch no it's not tone I think then the tone is 94.8 we're not doing tone squelch can put the name in we've done that so i think oh here we can set the power tuning step and the mode okay and either it does have am on there as well nam then we'll go back let's have a quick look at the settings menu so there's the settings i've not really changed much but you can see a long list of settings there including mic gain Channel display mode, that's worth selecting because if you want to say that show the channel name, put it there, channel name. Cross band receiving transmit, and I've tried this. It's the same, it's the same selection in the menu, but it just doesn't seem to work. Uh, you can do, the one that does work is split shift. Dual watch, band A and band B, all band B. So that means you'll, if you have a, another station come in, you will hear it. You won't hear two at the same time. Backlit, we, five seconds here. I've got it off because it's not good for the camera, but it, what we want is actually for it to stay on permanently. Beep, VFO, keypad, key tone, lots of other ones there. What else we got here? Programmable keys. We can set them up. Let's have a look at the, the selections. FM radio on off, which it has got. And remember, this radio has got like six bands or more flashlight so you can see that you've got lots of selections there for the programmable keys i believe that even the, the key numbers if you press the f you get functions as well but i know you do dtmf dtmf there scan list unlock settings fm radio so you can preset that driver information Limits disabled for modified firmware. Interesting. Uh, what's up here? We can export and import. Now look, these are files that I have uh, exported from, I'm pretty sure from the repeater book. I wonder if it will let me import one. So let's go file. Let's have a look. Where's it? Is there an import? Export. Can't see an export. Export. To see. You can export for definite. Let's just save that. Say only memory tabs may be exported. That's interesting. So let's try it now. File 
Ah, here it goes. This is where you can import and export. So we click the first tab. That's the second tab. The first tab, every time you do anything on this radio, you get a new tab. Let's click here. You know, you can sort of select them all like that. You can do control file. You can do control, I think now is it V? Look here, control N, control S, control O, export to CSV is control E, print. You've got control things there, so file. Import, let's just see if it will let me import one of these. No, it won't do that. That was probably the wrong kind of file. Import. What's your here? I'm just going to do it, just see what it does. It's going to overwrite. Click OK. So have a little play with that. I, th I reckon it would import from repeater book. What else we got here? Yeah. Radio, download from radio, upload, da, da 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 And then if you write to the radio, you just go upload to radio, click OK, and it's going to upload. And as you can see, you don't see anything on the radio. The blue LED is lit up on top. But to me, it's working fine. It's just down to, down to you now to play around and add all your favourite channels. So thanks for watching my channel. 7-3, all the best.